everybody welcome back for another uh, weekend of just messing around with the car uh, I got everything with the front end pretty good it uh, car rides night and day I mean it real nice and straight down the road doesn't have any real shakes or anything to it so uh, the only thing really that's left that has a little bit of slop in it in the front end are the leaf spring bushings and uh, got those right here I'm going to change the ones in the front and the rear leaf springs uh, as well as it comes with um, the little kit came with two smaller ones for tie rod ends so I'm going to look at those see if those need changed if they do we'll go ahead and uh, change those but basically uh, what we're shooting for here is let's see if I could if you see here let me put this pry bar underneath See that, that slop right there? So, basically, um, we'll have to, I'm going to take it apart and I'm going to see how well this um, hanger right here fits inside the new bushings, you know, just to make sure that it itself is not worn. And who knows if it is, I mean, who knows how long these things been in here, but, um, so yeah, See that little and they're all like that so I'm just gonna change them all change all the bushings and then also um, I have new uh, spindle or uh, I don't know if you'd want to in the trucking world I guess you could call them a knuckle but this is a spindle right here and I have a new bolt that goes through everything and new bushings so I'm gonna attempt that today and because whenever you jack it up when you jack the car up by the axle and you put this pry bar under the tire there's a little bit of slop on the top and on the bottom there so it has a little up and down play so I'm going to fix that and then also I was telling you the two smaller bushings come from uh, these these tie rod ends right there so um, yeah let's get to it Okay, so I have the new bushing in the just the perch for now. I didn't do the spring yet, uh, but uh, before I did that, I noticed even with the new bushing in there, this uh, hanger was still very sloppy in there. So basically, it's pretty worn down. So um, I'm going to go and I have some of this flat stock right here and I'm going to build just some uh, you know non original hangers I guess you could say and I know this kinda goes against uh, keeping to the originality of the car but uh, I think it'll be a little bit you know you know I think it'll be a little safer so uh, anyway but yeah so that's what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna build new ones and I'm going to carry these ones here as spares carry the old you know the old original ones as spares because I'm just trying to get the front end real tight you know make sure there's nothing um, you know moving around too much so uh, sorry everybody you know you know but you by the time you paint it all black and it'll get some grease on it you won't even notice the difference uh, but anyway so let's get to it
Okay, and with the magic of television, you will see the uh, new one is on over here. My center to center is exactly the same as uh, the factory one. I traced it off of the plate and off of the back plate, and uh, so everything, you know, the geometry, I guess you could call it, or whatever, would uh, is the same. So. All I gotta do now is is I need to uh, get hair longer bolts here and drill some holes in those bolts and oh well, I don't know if I'll use castle nuts or if I'll just use uh, those all metal lock nuts or not but uh, regardless one down and all I gotta do is drill the holes for the other side and we can throw that side together. Well, uh, continuation of yesterday. Uh, oh yeah, man, that looks really bright. But anyway, uh, back to the front end here. I was making those front um, shackles, and yesterday I kind of got a little bit sidetracked. I uh, ended up, you know, going doing a little bit of running around, and then ended up just going somewhere for the night. But anyway, um, I got one side. So we'll uh, show you right there. So. Um, I know they don't doesn't look very factory, but um, you know everything's good underneath. Nothing's gonna hit. So uh, basically, all I got to do now is I got to get a couple of grease fittings for right there. Um, but uh, yeah, so I don't know. I'm I'm happy with how they turned out. Plus, you paint them black, and they get a little bit of dirt and road grime on them. You won't even notice. So now I'm gonna move on to the other side. I have the uh, I have the plates already made. All I gotta do is just take that side apart, beat the old bushings out, put the new bushings in, and bolt it together. So, well, let's uh, let's get to it.
that down and uh, basically um, where we're headed to next on here is um, I'm just gonna stay on the front end while I'm here uh, the only thing I need to still get is my uh, grease fittings for the leaf spring perches I was gonna get those kinds that you just you drive in you know you pound them in they're not threaded so you don't like screw them in but uh, so I gotta get those but that can be done you know in a couple minutes but uh, yeah those bushings you know they, they were a little tough getting them out but I guess I've had worse so um, yeah I got that done and uh, now I'm on to the, uh, the spindle bolts bushings whatever you want to call it and uh, by that I mean the the whole I guess I don't know in the truck world I guess you'd call it a knuckle but uh, this bolt that connects the spindle to the axle so uh, that I have new ones of those so um, See, I have them somewhere. I know they're here. I oh, hear they are. But anyway, the uh, they come with new bolt, you know, new bolts and bushings. So, yeah, um, gonna get going on that. See if uh, <laughs> see if we can get that done pretty quick. It's like five o'clock. I'd like to at least go for a Sunday drive or something. But uh, yeah, so let's. Get